Hello there, my Virgos. Welcome back to my channel. This is Dancing Star Fitty. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm doing your reading for the 4th week of July. What's up, Virgos? Connect with me, my darling. Yeah, I'm not going to take this card because I saw that my deck was flipped, so... Let's start fresh, all right? Oui. All right. What's up, my babies? How you doing, Virgos? My fellow Earth. Beautiful sign. Wow. All right. It wants to come back. All right, again, take it how it resonates, all right? A mother figure, queen of swords, is standing in between you and your decision making. You have a soulmate energy around you. Six of cups is about young love. It's about two people being very much in love. It's about someone really wanting to give you their cup, meaning their commitment. But there's someone standing in between, and please take that mother energy the way you want. It could really be just an elder friend, all right? But there is someone standing in between, giving their back to that to that soulmate, extravaganza, and it's putting you in the eight of swords energy. But I'm not going to give this power to this woman, you know, because this is also you binding yourself with your own mental experiences. Take it how it resonates. I'm going to pull a little bit of more cards. Let me just see that. Because there's a devil energy and I don't understand why it's here. So what is this devil energy about? What is this chaining of two people about? Oh, a truth that came out that was very harsh. Yeah. An experience that you've been through that was limit, limit traumatizing. Yeah. All right, Virgo. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. That's what the devil energy is about. All right. A truth came out that was very disturbing. You have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Sword is the Truth card. So I understand why you're in this energy. You've been through an experience that brought you the truth about somebody. And it made you a little bit upset. This is you here. This is the Queen of Pentacles. You're here as the Queen of Pentacles. You're a little bit upset and you're looking at your abundance. You're looking at your creativity. You're really looking at your job well done. You're looking at the portal, the ascension that you've done. And I don't want you to be anything but proud of yourself, Virgo. All right? 
I don't want you to be anything but proud of yourself, my darling. Because this is a job well done. This is the huge closing of a chapter. This is turning your fire energy into a bouquet of flowers. Because you are the earth mother. You are the earth mother. Not just that. You have 888. Look at that. Eight. Mental. Eight. Emotional. Eight. Ascension. Excuse me, I just had muesli and banana and it was delicious. But I'm feeling the pissed off energy. Why am I feeling pissed off? You know, this woman was on top of this queen. Someone put them on top of you? Someone put this queen of swords on top of you. Why? Why? Why did they do that? If they claim to be a soulmate, or you claim to be soulmates, excuse if I'm bitchy, if you claim to be soulmates, why would they put someone behind you and in front of you and to the east and to the west? Why? And put you in this energy? Break your back? Never ever. <laughs> Break your back, Virgo? Why? You're gorgeous. You're independent. You're mother for Taurus and Capricorn. You're mother for Taurus and Capricorn. This is a Capricorn card, but it's also the devil card. Oh, where's the devil? Though, what shields the reading is the nine. You close the cycle, but someone is defensive. <laughs> someone is very is scared. Don't care anymore, I'm telling you. Someone is very scared. They're shitting in their pants. Who's that? I don't know. You tell me, it's your reading. Many people are watching. Because judgment called and said, Hey, ya, uh, never want to be, ya." Uh. You're pissed off, and I'm feeling the, the pissing off. I really feel that you're pissed off. Virgo, I don't know who's watching me, but you're like really, really with a lot of fire energy. That devil showed you who that person was. So don't hate the devil. Don't hate anyone. You don't need to get angry, Virgo. You are a uh, idol, and I keep on repeating it, Habibti or Habibi, or Honey Darling Love. You are an idol. <laughs> Excuse me, I speak some languages that are, you know, many. So, so really, honey, that's, the, that's, that's God's call. That's really God's call. Halas, I'm going to flip the devil. I don't want to look at it anymore. That's God's call. The more you're going to get in that fire energy, 
the more you're gonna delay karma there is no wheel of fortune in your reading you know v there's no, sorry there is no wheel of fortune don't delay the karma by using your elements uh, um, uh, chaotically you know I'm gonna I'm gonna call and then I'm gonna write and then you know what I'm not gonna answer that little mm, and I'm gonna mm. calm down your element is earth and you're 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 very welcome into understanding why your element is earth because you've done a great job You've done a great job in that situation. So why are you doubting yourself? You've done an amazing job that you went through your ascension. Nobody ever can tell you that they need you. Because if they tell you they need you, they're going to do a descension thing. And we don't want that for our fellow Earth family. You know what I mean? We don't want that. Look at you worked so hard on yourself you've worked super hard on yourself Virgo you've worked super hard I followed this you've done this you maybe walked away maybe you really did walk away from an abusive partnership, an abusive mother, an abusive father figure, an abusive, someone you looked up to, all right? Someone you looked up to, they were abusive. You're like, duck it, I'm out. So I'm going to keep this and I'm proud of you because when this happened, judgment came in. Judgment came in. And maybe that judgment is what told you, go away, bounce. You know, maybe, maybe this, this, was like this like like literally if you get my point you know like the same card is just different side of the coin what whatever you know what I mean you know like love it love it I love it I love it I just love it excuse me I'm disgusting I love it all right so my love I still want to tell you something all right I'm tell you something Look at the burden you're carrying. You see the Ten of Wands? God is going to multiply it to a 20 of bouquet flowers. <laughs> Your rage is not going to go to waste. You probably created a whole earthquake, you mother of earth. You probably created a bunch of physical intensities for someone. Or something or so God is gonna blow the horn because he heard you he heard you and he's gonna transform your burden into flowers 20 the card of judgment I really love you, Virgo. You know, I really look up to you. I'm a Taurus sign. I'm a Taurus sign. And I really respect you. I really respect your independence. You're going on the right track with the three eights, all right? You're closing cycles and you're reaching eternity. Take it how it resonates. That woman that was on top of you, I don't know who that is, but they were bad and they were maybe putting you in a more mental cruise ship. And uh, as I want to say, I cannot go longer than 15 minutes. So I'm going to love you and I'm going to leave you. And I'm going to go to work and I'm going to say, see you when the sun rises. Ciao, Virgo. Ciao, ciao, honey. <laughs>